today we've got something special. We're looking at the Marco Polo. The Mercedes here have very kindly lent us. So uh, come with us, we're gonna have a, a look around. Right, so the Marco Polo comes in two different guises. You've got the Sport, which I believe this one is, and then you've got the AMG line. But mainly the difference is cosmetic, so bigger wheels on the AMG, um, but it, and a, a few extra um, options, like uh, different sort of spoiler on the front, that kind of stuff. Uh, also, the Marco Polo comes in two different engines, uh, both diesels, both 2.1 litre. Uh, you've got a 140 horsepower engine and a 190 horsepower engine, so um, both good, good powered engines. It comes a standard with an automatic gearbox, um, and prices start for the lower engine in the sport trim, starts at around about £53,000. So it's a bit more expensive than the VW California, but it comes with much more spec as standard. This one's finished in a lovely black paint. Privacy glass is standard, which is pretty cool. About £600 for the awning. I don't know if you can get that in two different colours or not. I imagine not, with the fact that this one's silver on this car. Um, it's an electrically operated roof, uh, similar to the Ocean. And if we work our way round, you've got a powered tailgate, which is very nice. It's almost silent, which is really smart. It also has um, something a bit more unique. It's a little um, separate opener. Ooh. That's quite cool. So you can imagine them um, asleep or just woken up in the morning with that open, looking out over the Italian lakes. I imagine Bentley would like that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just so that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, something a bit different that. Oh, it's short, isn't it? So under this flap you've got the uh, water point and we, so it has a, I'm not sure what size tank it is, but there's a freshwater tank and also a wastewater tank just like in the California. Then there's a 230 uh, volt plug. The Cal, uh, the Cali, <laughs> the Marco Polo also has an 80 amp hour leisure battery on board as well. So you can be off grid for a while. Nice. Uh, window just like on the California on the side there. So here we are inside the um, Marco Polo and uh, from first impressions, for me anyway, it's really quite luxurious in here, like leather seats and I quite like the cream and the black um, colouring as well, that's quite cool. And you can probably tell we swiveled the seats round, uh, which again is a feature with the California, but it is a feature here as well. The seats were pretty much exactly the same as turning around in the California, really easy. Um, I think I would be quite wary of the leather catching on things. I think that would scare me a little bit. Um, however, you know, really comfy seats, nice spec. I'd be a bit worried about the fact that they're white leather though, because I think, especially with having a dog or if you had kids and things like that, that would be a pretty terrifying concept. Even just blue jeans is a bit scary on white leather. Um, however, it does look very good. A lot of people like it, so. I do think, looking at this, the Marco Polo is a bit bigger than the California as well. Um, and what they've done here that I really like is the fact that they've split it into three different sections. So the first section here is where the sink is. It's a very nice looking sink as well. Uh, then the second section is for the two hob burners. And actually these are huge, there's loads of space there. And again, I've never complained in the California, but this is bigger to me, so more space. And then obviously you've got an absolutely huge um, chest fridge there. There is a fly down there that's obviously come to its own demise. I don't think that comes with all of them. It's quite interesting because the California now has the split. Um, yeah, the California top. has the same, doesn't it? No? So, which is really handy. So when you're cooking, you can have the sink section down, but have the hob bit up, which just gives you a bit more work top to sort of prepare stuff on. Yeah. And then they've got lots of lots of space here. Drawer yeah, space. Good. I do like that because yeah. that's so much easier to find stuff at the back. That's one of my biggest bugbears of the California is the fact that you can't find things at the back. This one looks like that's it's a, a slider. So it slides oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it slides to the side. So again that's the same as the California then. Yeah. But there's still things at the back. And stuff yeah. in there. That slides very nicely. And then there's another drawer here. These are all soft clothes, so they're a bit, they'll get easier to open, I'm sure. I'm worried about my nails getting. <laughs> As time goes on. <laughs> yeah, they're both drawers. 
one thing to be aware of is so that's a cutlery drawer in there and it looks really deep however the sink does eat into that a bit so you couldn't par that too high but that's not an issue because i still think it's a bit more space than i think it's a lot more space than the california especially the fridge i think that's quite wide as well so it's much easier to get things out of but it does seem like it's a longer vehicle so yeah um, it is slightly I, longer I do, I do think that's a massive bonus for the marco polo the, the fact that it is a little bit bigger one minor complaint that i have or actually it could be quite a major complaint is the edges down here if you've got kids that's a really sharp edge there and when you've got the chairs pushed back that doesn't go with it that's in the furthest back position yeah which is does um and that would that would really hurt your leg and especially at night time when you're climbing back down yeah. sometimes it's quite easy to step off a bit too close and god that would hurt one thing to watch out for yeah one thing to watch out for there especially with kids i do think um this space here with the door when when you've got it sort of fully closed in it does feel like there's much more space in here yeah it does definitely i think there'd be much more space for the dog in here as well but what, um, what are the blinds like um they're okay i do think the california blinds are better because they go all the way around the window so there is no gap um when you close these they are you know fairly good they're not the easiest things yeah, in the world you can to see closely. the side there i don't know if we're but doing something see... wrong here but you can quite easily see the side there yeah and that would make me a bit nervous at night time because especially the window in the corner there where i'm yeah. sat here yes yeah, I, same... I can easily see out yeah, that's quite intriguing. Through the gap, so. But I don't know if we're missing anything. We might be, but um, yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. Not too sure about that. Um, However, they are built in, how, so it is convenient. I also think they'll last longer than the Californias. The Californias <laughs> um, <laughs> do feel like I'm going to break them every time I put them down, especially the one on the door. It seems to be a bit hard work, but I don't know. That doesn't seem too bad. That covers it better because it's a bit closer. Another feature that I really like is the fact that you can open this back window here. Um, just by this button, which I'm going to show you. So if I push that down. That's a bit cool, isn't it? It's is a bit cool, that's quite handy, and that would be quite nice like security at night because it's not going to open fully, but yeah. you still get a nice breeze down here. Yeah, I like that. So things that's like nice. for the dog, oh, I can already feel the breeze nice. coming through, yeah, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, I can feel that as well, that's nice. Really that's good. very cool. Yeah, so we like that feature. Um, Storage space, what's that like? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good as well. Um, I really like the fact that it's got the Marco Polo. I'm just not quite picking that up, but oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's quite. Like that looks very luxurious. And then you press this, and it's quite a massive. It's huge. Chest thing. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And the speakers up at the side there. It is heavy though, so if you've already got stuff in there, that might be quite a challenge to shut. What's on the side? Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. So I haven't even looked in here yet. Ooh, oh, I like the uh, the light up. Oh yeah, that's cool. Someone's not cleaned that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that feels nice, I bet. Yeah, that's slide, really nice. Sliding bit's good. That's a very big um, wardrobe bit as well. So again, like the California, you've got an area in here. Um, the gas bottle, I assume, is underneath there. I'm not going to take it all is, that I've apart. Had you had a look. Yeah. Uh, you've got shelf up at the top there. Well, that's quite good. Which is Although pretty good. You can only access it from the side, can't you? Yeah. So you can access ours from the back. You've got a little area for magazines. The, Ma yeah, tiny magazines. Um, the blind for the rear window is fitted on here. However, it does attach into there. So you're gonna have to make sure that you don't open the back with that attached. So that's intriguing. This has a shower point, which I, again, I didn't see that in the option. So that might be standard. Uh, the One of the biggest differences as well with the Compressor the California is where the tables and chairs are. So you've got an outdoor chairs, an outdoor table, and they sit in here. Which, um, they're not in here at the minute, they're in the showroom still because they took this out of the showroom today for us. But yeah, that's quite intriguing. You can also access it from uh, oh, yeah. under there. So you can get to it there. That'd be quite difficult though because we keep our toilet in the back, don't we? Yeah, this takes up quite a bit of space in my mind. However, by not having them in here, the tailgate is a lot thinner and that's what adds to the extra space inside. So that's your sort of pros and cons. The table's relatively easy, just another clip. It's actually a bit easier to find them in the California, I think. Yeah. That little clip. Table up, leg out, done. That's quite good. 
good sized There's table. There's not even a slidey thing on this one, so. And I'll tell it's you what, the, the, the camera doesn't pick it up in here um, very well because it's not a wide angle lens, but um, now that I'm sat here, Lizzie sat there with the table out, you can definitely tell this is bigger than the California. Oh yeah, definitely, no, I do think it is. Without a doubt, yeah. you've got um, so much more space, which um, I'm sure Bentley would like. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the window on this side does open as well, so if you're cooking, you can open up the window a bit. That's good. Um, lights in here, there aren't many, but it is three stage dimmable. So it's almost a bit, I mean, it's almost exactly the same light sort of that you would get in here because we have three lights, one big one and then two littler ones. But if you can change the brightness, it sort of doesn't matter no. in here that it's only got one. So it's not bad. Same yeah, on that side as well. Same on the other side. Got more air vents in here. Yeah, That's quite do. cool. Um, do you want to show us the bed upstairs then? Yeah, let's have a look. The biggest difference for the bed, uh, it looks like it's huge. It looks really comfy, but it's the fact that it's not on gas struts. So you have to undo these. So lift the bed up first, then undo each of these, and then let it come down. Let's have a quick look under. Oh, look and at that's that. That's quite cool, isn't it? That is quite cool. I've not seen that before. So like, those are separate pads. I imagine that's very comfy. Yeah. I'll try it out and let you know. So same method to climb up. Hello. <laughs> Put on there, boom on the bed, and lift yourself up. So the bed seems to be full length again, which is good. Seems to be about the same size, I think, doesn't I'd it? I'd actually say this is ridiculously comfy. Yeah. It's really comfy. We use a mattress topper on ours, don't we? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say you'd need that for this at all. A lot of people don't bother, though, with the California. No, it's don't. only because we're, we're picky. Just, yeah, we're just quite What picky. you got on the side here? I have slight back problems as well, so I like to use something extra, but so, this is really good. Again, you have a zipped area. It's very light up here. I think in the morning you get woken up quite early because of how light the sides are. Um, so, yeah, but then you could you could get one of those, well, it's not probably a Cali topper. A Marco topper. A Marco a topper. A Polo topper. <laughs> a Polo topper that would, uh, like what we have, that's specific for the Marco Polo, which so you, I think would sort that out. You've got them on both sides. You've not got one at the front. But you know, you don't have one at the front. And I like the one at the front, that's nice. What you got at the top there? What's uh, that? Another vent by the looks of things. And then, this looks like a light of some description. Oh. Yeah. So like a reading light. Yeah. I believe Callies used to have that kind of setup, but now they've got them sort of flush in the roof, but that's quite cool. Is that, um, yeah. You got three stage dimmable lights on that again. Yeah. So that's quite cool. So it has a single USB part and like a shelf as well, which is quite handy just to put your phone in when you're charging at night time. Okay, again, um, like the California, you've got a drawer down the bottom here, which is divided actually. So you've got a couple of spaces there. Not quite as big as in the California, but big enough. Fit shoes in there, no problem. Um, now, this is the biggest difference to the California. Now these chairs, in chair mode, are properly comfortable chairs. Lovely leather and bolstered at the side as well, so they feel like more like chairs. That's inflatable, isn't it? Yeah, so to turn it into a bed, what you need to do is slide it, using this lever on the side here. It slides really easily. That looks a lot easier than the California. That's way too far forward, and it? it seems to be. But you can take, you have to take the headrests out, which is a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a shame you can't just flip them over like the California, but there's a little hole that they slot into at the back. When I've seen previous sort of footage of that, I thought that'd be a bit of a ball over, but it's not bad at all. Now, this is the funky bit. You see the buttons down here? So, what you do is hold that button. Look at that. And it's rising up as well as lowering down to make a flat, flat base. That's very first class, isn't it? That's a bit cool, isn't it? That's very first class on an airline. Yeah. Oh, you don't actually have to hold it. 
Oh yeah, you do. It's now deflating as well. These side bolsters are also deflating. So again, same with that one. You can do both at the same time, I'm sure. Pretty cool. So I wonder if you could recline whilst um, drive along, because you could be belted up <laughs> and still recline. I don't know how you are actually allowed to do that or not. Oh, that, one's gone, that one's gone lower. Have you not held the other one down for as long? Oh dear, he's breaking it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with electronics, eh? Yeah, so I don't know why that one's not going all the way down. Oh, it did move a bit then. Yeah. Perhaps there's something in the way. Why is it still making a noise as well? <laughs> I think it's because that one's deflated, so that's why. <laughs> So I don't know why that's happened. I can't feel anything underneath. But anyway, <laughs> so you get the idea. You get the idea of that. If I um, slide it a bit further back, so that's your. Can you deflate them further? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, one Got of you's <laughs> going to sleep in God. very, very uncomfortable <laughs> position. God knows why that's like that. But. Um, Shotgun so, this side. So it's quite cool because <laughs> it's deflating everything and the fact that there's seats perhaps a little bit over engineered maybe but it does give you that luxurious feel when yeah. it is in travel mode and I still think um, you'd have to have a bit of a mattress topper. Oh yeah I think you this. would. Definitely. I think you'd. It's, it's comfortable well, it would be if it was flat. <laughs> One thing I really love um, and, and everyone knows that I like my fairy lights and my twinkly lights in the van and things like that. But this switch here, look at this. Oh, I'm good having lighting. That I do like that. That's yeah, good for again, a bit of mood luxurious. lighting. Yeah, very luxurious. What else is underneath that button? Um, there's another USB socket, um, some random socket. So that's like a Euro socket. And then you've got the um, fuse box as well there. It's a bit. Bit of a shame that that's kind of open. It doesn't look that great. Uh, not sure if this is standard. I've not, I've not looked in the setting, but that's quite cool, isn't it? I like that. And listen to how quiet it is. It's one, very quiet. One thing I don't like in the morning at campsites is the fact that when I get out to go to the toilet or whatever, I must wake up half the campsite by shutting the door behind me. And there's no <laughs> quiet way of doing it. Yeah. But this is very quiet. Listen. Amazing. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, that's really that's good. pretty smart. Uh, one thing that's interesting is this doesn't come with an inverter. So you can't power two 30 volt um, appliances when you're off grid. You have to be plugged in to the mains. Uh, whereas with the California, you can power items that are up to 150 watt just off the battery. Um, so that's one thing to bear in mind, but that's we've not actually ever needed that, I don't think we have a 12 volt TV that kind of thing so that's interesting um, however the biggest um, difference between this and the California Ocean is this does not come with a heater as standard um, what? which is a bit unusual you can get a water heater and you can get a normal diesel air heater like in the California the water heater is about 1300 nearly 1400 pound option so i'm not entirely sure that i'd be that fussed about that because we've not needed it in the cali um, however we do use the air heater in ours all the time the diesel heater um, because we like to go away all year round so and that's a 2000 over 2500 pound option i believe and it's definitely over 2000 which um it's kind of a necessity for me i think definitely i think so so um just bear that in mind when looking at them. Um, but still, even if you add just that to the basic engined sport, um, you've got a fantastic camper van, I Definitely. think. Definitely, yeah, I um, think a so. A very luxurious and a, a bigger one at that. Uh, so in the California, the control panel for the fridge, uh, heating and everything like that is up at the top here. Um, in this, it is not. It's down here, right down at the bottom. Um, which is quite interesting, same sort of thing, tells you your water levels, uh, open and close the roof, uh, that one there will be the fridge, so it's off but you can turn it on. 
all this functions quite cool you've got a nice sort of um, uh, this is all the command module for that um, there's no handbrake in the middle which is great um, it's an electric handbrake which is down the side there which is good I think um, I think this is the kind of vehicle that really benefits from a, an electric handbrake just so it frees up space in the middle so you've got plenty of space there you've got a lot of space in in the actual cabin as well as you're driving along um, it's luxurious isn't it it's very luxurious yeah it's lovely one thing that is interesting uh, about that is uh, there's no cup holders there, which is really weird. Oh yeah, there's some in the sort of side bit, but not in the front here there isn't, no you're right. Obviously the more luxurious, the more unlikely you are to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Maybe you have someone that hand holds it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's here holding the drinks. Jeeves, get me my drink. <laughs> So there you have it, that's our first look at the 2017 uh, Mercedes-Benz Marco Polo. Um, from my own perspective, it's really luxurious. Um, I, I would quite happily have one of these. There's only a few minor quirks that I think um, aren't as good as the California, but then Mercedes have done things in some ways better than the California as well. So it really depends on what you want as an individual. It's definitely a consideration for people, I think. Yeah. You come and have a look at one of these. I definitely uh, say so, yeah. Um, definitely before you definitely pick a California yeah both have pros and cons so um, yeah so let us know in the comments what you think of the um, Marco Polo but pop into um, Portsmouth Mercedes-Benz they've been brilliant here they've let us have a really good look around uh, left us to it um, and it's been really good it's been really eye-opening to see what it's like in here so don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos uh, don't forget to let us know what you think and hopefully we will see you soon thanks very much